All right, I'm taking a break from my sanding. I've been sanding for about an hour and a half now, straight. I probably got dust all around my eyes and nose and everywhere else. Got my mask on, but um, what I was doing uh, with these legs here for my coffee table I'm building, this is what I usually do with the most coffee tables. Um, instead of using a four by four post for the in, in legs of it, um, I take two, uh, two by fours like this here. And um, with my glue bot, I put plenty of glue right in here, just just load it down with glue. And then I'll um, run, I run another two by four equivalent to it to make actually a, after it's, after it's trimmed down and cut down, it'll be a three by three. Um, this is what I do with my legs and my coffee tables, um, just to make it look a little bit better, make it more sturdy. So um, once these things are glued together, um, make it look like this. Once they're glued together, I get them on the table saw and I'll, I'll um, cut down the side here. Because if, if, if I get uh, glue squeezed out from putting them together, mash them, and the glue starts um, squeezing out from the cracks, it's not going to matter because I cut it. Once I cut it down the size, it'll cut all that glue out. The sides are, are overflowing with glue. Um, but that's, that's what I do with that. And then what happens is, um, they come out looking like this here because this is all sanded and everything now. Um, this is a, this is ready to put together, ready to stain. But uh, this is what it looks like. It ends up being a three by three, um, which is not quite a four by four post. But yeah, <clears throat> what I also do just to make sure the glue is going to stick and not break loose at any time, regardless if I got a bunch of it in there, is I put two uh, two and a half inch screws through the boards to, to make sure they are together. And then I go back and put in these holes here. So it'll, um, they won't show, but um, these are the legs. I got four of these for the coffee table um, that I'm building now. So I usually build mine, just, just like I said, to make it more sturdy. Then on the bottoms, I usually sand over the corners here uh, to keep it being to tear out. If it's on the carpet or something, and somebody goes to slide it, you might catch the edge and pull it and just and, and tear it out a little bit. So I just uh, round these corners over on the bottom here to keep that from happening. And if the person has a, a hardwood floor or a floor, a non-carpeted floor, I'll supply them with a stick with the pads that go on the bottom for the um, cushion pads. But just a little tip on the way I do these legs on these uh, coffee tables, they seem to work pretty good, so I'm going to keep doing them.